are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams. Welcome back people, are you prepared for another sweet adventure? Get ready because you are about to get into the most beautiful, sweet and unique factory in the world. Willy Wonka is here again and this time he is going to tell us a story we never thought we would hear. Stay with me until the end as I have some really interesting news for you. Now let's jump in with a short recap. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Ryle Dahl's children's book, has been adapted to the big screen twice, once in 1971 and once 34 years after. In the first version, Gene Wilder is playing the role of Willy Wonka, and this movie is considered a classic. But Tim Burton in the 2005 movie offered an interesting interpretation of that world, which made people compare these two movies. Ryle Dahl's books are well known for their peculiar sense of humor some underlying darkness and in which adults played the part of villains. Many of Raoul Dahl's novels have been adapted to the big screen for years, from The Witches and Fantastic Mr. Fox to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and Matilda. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory was his most famous novel and it was published in 1964, which has been adapted to different media for years. But without a doubt, its film versions are the most memorable. The 1971 Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory was a musical movie and Mel Stewart did a great job casting Gene Wilder as the main protagonist. Wilder's performance was widely praised and the movie was well received by critics. So it's not a surprise that this movie is considered a classic to this day. 34 years after this movie, Tim Burton decided to step in and make Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with Johnny Depp as Willy Wonka. Both movies circle around the same story, but there are some differences. The remake has a part explaining why Willy is so dedicated to candy, why he has trouble with parents and family in general, and why he doesn't like the kids. So yeah, there is some sort of a backstory. The story of the movie is following Charlie. Charlie Bucket is a kind and loving boy who lives on the outskirts of town in poverty with his mom and dad and his grandparents. Yeah, the whole family in one small room. Things go from bad to worse when Charlie's father loses his job. Soon after, Willy Wonka, the owner of the most famous chocolate factory in the world, announces a contest in which the winners will receive a full tour of the factory and a lifetime supply of chocolate. And Charlie knows thousands of legends related to this factory and Willy as well. Well, his grandpa used to hit that like button just like you should if you haven't done so already. No, really. His grandpa who used to work there talks about the factory all the time. One day, Willie decided to close the factory, but the Wonka chocolates were still available in the stores. That was a mystery for the whole town. Anyway, back to the story now. What's the contest that Willie announced? Well, there are a few golden tickets hidden in Wonka chocolate bars all around the world and only the luckiest kids could find them. The first four tickets are the spoiled Veruca Salt, the ill-tempered Mike TV, the glutinous Augustus Gloop and the arrogant Violet Beauregard. But there was one other thing that the grown-ups also knew, and it was this, that however small the chance might be of striking lucky, the chance is there. The chance had to be there. And there it is. Poor Charlie found the last ticket. He found $10 on the street and he ran to the store to buy chocolate. He was the lucky one. I'll stop here with the story and give you a chance to re-watch the movie and prepare for what is coming next. Now, let's talk about the release date. The release date was supposed to be March 17, 2023, but there was a shuffle in the Warner Bros. deck and Wonka was one of those cards. But no space for worries at all, since the official release date now is December 15, 2023. We don't have a lot to wait for. COVID-related delays were a regular thing in the past few years. The Flash and Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom were delayed for that reason at least. What stays behind Wonka's delay has not been announced yet, but the new date will definitely put the movie in a prime spot. This will be this year's Christmas movie to watch. Wonka, it's a musical fantasy and it is expected to be kind of a family-friendly film. And with all that being said, it is expected that Wonka will make a major box office success during the holiday season. Now let's talk about the cast. Many things have changed since the first movie was released. The first actor to play Charlie was Peter Ostrom at age of 12. And back in the time, the script didn't exist. He just had to read Ryle Dahl's novel. He decided to quit acting after the movies, so Willy Wonka remains Ostrom's only feature film credit. As for the role of Willie, as I said before, Gene Wilder broke the ice and Johnny Depp took the same role 34 years after. This time, the eccentric factory owner will be played by the young Timothy Chalamet. 
After his outstanding 2021 and the extremely successful projects he worked on, such as Quentin and Don't Look Up, Zephyrly and the French Dispatch, and Paul Atreides in Dune Part 1, it is expected that he'll be a perfect fit for the role. But Chalamet is not the only great actor in the cast. Oh, that is a real dream team. Alongside Timothy Chalamet, we'll watch the hilarious Keegan-Michael Key, Matthew Bainton, Rowan Atkinson, and many others. Now about the plot. We don't know exactly the whole story, but we're sure about one thing. This will be a prequel story. As it was announced, this will be a never-before-seen period in the character's history. This movie will take place before the well-known story seen in the previous two movies. More or less, we could sense this, since Timothy Chalamet was smashing that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell. No, really, in all seriousness now, we could sense this, since Timothy Chalamet was announced as the titular character. Compared to 42-year-old Depp and 38-year-old Wilder, Chalamet was only 25 during filming. The story will probably take us back to show how Willie became the famous and reclusive chocolatier from Dahl's novel and how he fell in love with all things sugary. Mind you, there are thousands of clever men who could give anything for the chance to come in and take over from me. But I don't want that sort of person. I don't want a grown-up person at all. A grown-up won't listen to me. He won't learn. He will try to do things his own way and not mine. So I have to have a child. So yeah, we'll probably find out how he became like this. Other than that, we know that Willie's family is new territory for the franchise to tackle, since his father is shown briefly to be an angry dentist in the 2005 movie. Chalamet confirmed that Wonka won't be a dark take on the character's history in his most recent interview with Time. Johnny Depp's portrayal had dark undertones in the 2005 movie, but fans should rest assured, this is not the type of movie. As for the trailer, the footage released at CinemaCon by Warner Bros. in May this year contains throwbacks to the original 1971 film. Willie is coming back on the big screen, and we already had the first look at how the eccentric owner built his fantastical candy factory. There's room for all of us. We can all play well together in the sandbox, and the prequel will shed more light on early Wonka, said actress Dawn Cole in her interview for People. Whatever the plot is, I just can't wait to watch it. I'm sure that we'll have an amazing Christmas this year, and Wonka in the Christmas season. This will be an even better one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.